Welcome to the first lesson of these video tutorials of Visual Basic Programming designed for high school students of GSA Academy. In today's lesson, we will learn about Windows Forms. What you see here is Visual Studio Community 2015. When you first launch Visual Studio Community 2015, the first page that appears is the start page. And now in order to start a new project, you can come here to File, click, then New, and select Project. Or you can come here and click the New Project link. I'm going to do that. OK. Visual Studio has a rich IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. This IDE is designed for creating applications for Windows and Android, iOS, web applications, and cloud services. You can do all of these projects using different languages, such as C Sharp, Visual Basic, uh, F Sharp, C++, Python. You can also use scripting languages like JavaScript and many other uh, languages. OK, I'm going to come here and I already picked uh, Visual Basic since we are using uh, Visual Basic and I'm gonna click on Windows because we are going to work with Windows applications basically these are desktop applications okay so I'm gonna click Windows and here I have all these choices uh, Windows application uh, forms WPF applications and console applications and uh, we also have class libraries and other projects that you can work with. Uh, since we are going to work with forms, I'm going to pick forms. This console application is basically a, a DOS-based environment application. We're not going to be working with this, so we're just going to be using uh, Windows applications throughout these entire uh, lessons. And then I'm going to pick Windows forms applications, and I'm going to come here and change the name and call it forms uh, applications or applications forms application that sounds good okay this is the default location where Visual Basic stores all your uh, files and projects it creates a folder called projects and in it it stores all the files I'm just gonna accept the default and I'm gonna click OK it's going to take some time to launch. And here my workspace opens. This this is my workspace. All right, in the workspace I have different windows. In here I have the solution explorer window and in it I have my solution files. This is my project, this is my form, which is this one here. <coughs> Here on the bottom I have the property window and here I can uh, change the font, the color and uh, other things and I can also change the feel and look of the uh, form and I can change also the behavior of the form from here from the property window and every time you drag and drop a control and the moment you select it you can change its properties right here okay this is my toolbox and in my toolbox I have controls and these controls the programmer can use to create Visual Basic applications there are so many types of controls right here we have the common controls or the most common used controls which are down here then we have containers right here these here are the data controls and uh, for our level right now we're not going to use any of these controls because we're not going to be accessing database uh, probably next year we're going to work with SQL server and we will use these controls but for now we're not going to be dealing with these controls right here and we will work with the printing controls in the future lessons and with these controls as well, the uh, save dialog and the open file dialog. You can also 
get third-party controls. You can get third-party controls and add them to your list here. It's also uh, possible. Okay, let's uh, drag and drop a control. This is a button control and this is the way to add controls to your form. You can drag and drop like this, drag and drop, or you can double click on the control. For instance, if I pick this control right here, uh, let's uh, pick the radio button control, I double click on it and it will go to the form right here. If I uh, double click on the text box, it's here. So you can drag and drop or double click. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all these. And here I'm going to select my button. It's selected already. And if I come here, I can change its properties. Like I said, for the uh, form, you can do it also for the other controls. The moment you select them, you come to the property window and you, and you can make changes to them. Okay, for the button, we're going to say click here. Okay, so now we see, click here. Okay, and I'm going to make it a little bigger. And uh, for the name, if you are going to use the button in your code, then you should change the name. Okay, come to the name. And here I'm going to say BTN. And this is the uh, naming convention for Visual Basic button. You say BTN for button. Then you give it a meaningful name. And since I'm going to use this button to click, I'm going to say button click. And as you can see, the BTN is all our case and the click, the first letter is capital letter. I'm going to come here and double click to create a click event. There it is. Okay, now I'm going to uh, create a very small program and basically in this program I'm gonna click on the button and it will show me a message box that says welcome to the first vb.net lesson so let's do this so I'm gonna say dim s as string and we're gonna talk about uh, declaring variables in the next lesson and I'm gonna say equals welcome to the first vb that net lesson okay now I'm gonna come here and it says I'm gonna say message box that show and I'm gonna say s basically when the message box launches it's gonna show me this okay because I start this in this string right here all right in order to run the program I have to come here click start to debug it I'm gonna click start It's going to take a few moments to run. Okay, here it is. I'm going to bring it here. Okay, and when I click this, I should see a message box saying, Welcome to the first VB.NET lesson. Let's take a look. And there it is. Welcome to the first VB.NET lesson. Okay, looks good. Okay, close this. And I go back to the uh, design view. Okay, we have two kinds of uh, views in uh, our workspace. This is called the design view. This is where I can change things without writing code. For instance, if I want to change the name of the form, it's form one. Let's go here and change it to something meaningful. Let's say Windows form project. Okay, and it should, should change it here. Okay. That's good. If I want to come, for instance, right here and change the icon, I have an icon in my desktop. I'm just going to use that, this one, and there it is. It's, it's changed. As you can see, I'm doing all this without writing any code. Uh, I can change, for instance, the color. Let's take a look here and go to back color, background, appearance, back color. Okay. I click here. Now I have system colors. I can pick any of these colors. We have web colors and we have custom colors. And I'm going to pick this color right here. OK, let's uh, run this. And there it is. This is my uh, form. I can also change the location 
place so when the uh, form launches I want it to come to the center let's uh, find it start position right here so you come here and you say center screen now when the form launches it's not gonna go to this side but it's gonna be here in the center let's uh, run this and there it is so I changed all this without writing any code so this is how you change uh, the behavior and the uh, properties of the control without writing code from the design view now to access the uh, code view you can come here and just click that or you can come here and click F7 from the keyboard and it takes you there okay so you have two options okay and I'm gonna come here now and let's see how we can make changes to the form from the uh, code view all right and this is basically what you are going to uh, be doing throughout these lessons okay I'm gonna pick the form events and we will learn about the events in the future lessons don't worry about them for now and I'm gonna look for the load event and pick that okay I'm gonna take this control X and bring it to the top and I'm gonna say me that height equals 500 pixels okay what I said here me refers to the form me refers to the form one so me is your form you see when I click on it it selected the form height the height of the form I want it 500 pixels okay uh, I want to do the same thing for the width and I'm gonna say equals 500 pixels as well okay now uh, I want also to uh, change the color of the form from the uh, code view here so the form here is I believe purple I'm gonna give it a different color so me that back color equals okay I'm gonna give it uh, what about beige okay let's pick beige just to something different okay come here let me save everything here and click start okay see when the form launches it changes to beige this is when the form is not launched okay it stays purple but when the moment you launch it it's here it changes to the beige color so I made all these changes from the code view uh, of the workplace okay now I let's launch it again I want to show you this as you can see the size has now changed this is 500 pixel height and 500 pixel width and look at this I can make it bigger smaller I can do this let's uh, change this let's prevent the user from doing this so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back to the uh, code view come here and say me that form border style which is on there equals and I'm gonna give it a fixed width and I'm gonna choose this one here all right just to make it simple let's save everything here let's uh, go back here let's launch the now if I try to change the width or the height look it, it doesn't let me do it I can still move this but I cannot change its its height and its width okay and basically with this we uh, come to uh, the end of this first lesson I would like to thank you for watching and you have a good day